Kurt Riley, a big fan of old school juggling. Who isn't? But the party animal not taking anything away from dance hall's new faces, whilst at the same time stomping for better production values. Crack selector and sometime producer Kurt Riley equating juggling with the rise of the dancehall scene itself. We're talking about the big songs, we're talking about the Stone Loves, the Metro sure, Media, sure, sure. the the bass odyssey. Hearing your favorite songs or some body songs all on the same rhythm was a crazy energy. So you were in a party or a dance or a fit and you hear, let us say, your favorite bounty killer, and you hear your favorite beanie man or your cabra or your spragger and these guys are just spitting rhymes and just spitting lyrics. It's just... Yo, as a, as a selector, it just full you. What's the juggling that defines that whole genre for you? What's the one that sticks out in your head big time? Wow, there are so many. You can say Diwali, you can say Buzz Rhythm, you can say Buyout, you can say Showtime, you can say Bada Bada. Enough of them, they not like we call it nice. Did juggling also allow some Jamaican music to cross over. Who am I? Girls them sugar. Welcome the girls them sugar. That crossed over. Everyone fall in love by Tante Mech and Devante. Juggling. Crossover. Like glue by Sean Paul is a juggling. Oh, still I got to stick to my girls like glue. Crossed over. No letting go by Wayne Wonder. Crossed over. Give me the light by Sean Paul. And like I said, the list goes on and on. Does juggling lend itself to that 90s dancehall sound? I mean, could you, doing music with elements of trap, make as interesting a juggling as you could with a 90s rhythm? People may be upset about this, but I believe it can. And what will make the difference is production. The choice songs they put on the rhythm, how you mix it, how you produce it, how you tell the artist, don't say that, say this, do this, do that. Tell the engineer, drop out this, play this right here. So, no, 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 we're not feel it like that. You understand what I mean? All of these things, if they do that with what is happening now, I think we probably can see the light. Because to me, I think dance hall is searching. Searching for what you think? Um, I think I think it's going through maybe like a, a, a cleanse, a phase before it just break out like crazy. Because this, all this talk about dancehall is dead and this trap thing now work. Then you have another set of people that is saying, yo, we like this. But the weirdest thing though, Anthony, is that when you talk to a lot of DJs that play outside of the culture of Jamaica, um, very few of them is going to accept what is happening here. So you find this trend now where, 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 where St. Lucia and Trinidad and Barbados is taking stuff that we used to do and Wow, ta-da! Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Mm -hmm. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. We're going to hear it. If it's not on YouTube, radio. But you're not going to go out into a party and hear it. And by the way, these guys, the St. Lucians, the Trinis, the Bayesians, they have juggling on those with it. Name some of the producers who were top rhythm makers. The easiest one to mention is Dave Kelly. Dave had this thing about the street, right? That I think it's like Steel and Cleavy reincarnated that kind of vibe because they had it too, seen? And who else are, are, are rate about juggling is Stephen McGregor. Because Stephen's production made it easy for you to get a forward out of a song. That him just know how to mix it, how to do the dropouts. There's an oh. element of sophistication. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, him, him have it lock. I, and, and, and that is how we now get the song. That the, the songs are, are, are being made too straight. It's like you just press record and just do so. Just do so. What really is your concern about the end product? The production? Yeah, it now it na stick. And then sometimes when you listen to some songs, the verse is the verse them wicked. But when it comes to the, to, the, to the punch line, that thing's supposed to drip up and make you do something. It's weak. It's no hole, yo. That's my problem. Too much bad song out there. Real, them bad, you know. But when it comes to that, that's something that make you say, yeah. It falls short. It miss. Kurt not averse to making a call, offering advice. 
Like, yo, this rhythm is bad enough, but what would you say if you did this to it or you did that to it? Because sometimes, really and truly, the producers, them, the new, the new producers, them, them reaching out and them get disrespect. And then you have another thing now where people who did before now want to say, yo, them young boy not a sense, but you cannot say that. We all need a chance. Change is a must. It cannot stay the same way. What I always would like is for the DNA to be kept in it. You get what I say? Just, just, just keep what is true to dance, a delicate something there. But throw your flavor upon it, man. Because your argument is that once it has the DNA, it can cross over. It can work. And then if you check the history you now, how many songs did in, in the American music industry that them sample? What were they? All 90s. How many times them, them, them resample and reach up up the wall? Eh? The same thing with, with Stalag. I took on the cup of coffee. The plane just crashed with the coat. Dad, the mother, your lunch up another beat. Nothing is wrong with the software that they're using, but nobody's thinking like, make a really go hard. Let us try and make a difference. I don't want to sound like everybody else. I don't want to use the same sneer that everybody else is using. I don't want to use the same rim that everybody else is using, that all 10,000 of us are using. I don't want to use the same kick. So what happened? All of the songs them sound the same. And when you check it, the BPM range is another thing. Everything is basically between 94 and 98. Between 100 and 105 is is open or 110. And who is leading the 110 lane? Lolly. Dirt. Dirt. Nobody's there doing what Lolly are do. So it's like open land for Lolly. But like I said, all of these things a lot of people don't look at. We cannot bash what have to come. And what have to come is change. Just guide it. If you as a producer that, that, that do it already, and you know the ins and outs of business. Don't dead with the information, brother. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't say, boy, you know, I tell them boy because them boy they're not no manners. No. Reach out, brother. I give thanks to the ones that I choose to listen. And so far, it looked like it's working for them. And then we we'll come back and say, Kurt, yo, all right, I try that in there. What you think? And so what, hap what is happening now is that they are sending songs to me to, to, for me to give my opinion. No, I give my opinion in the best interest of the business because if hit music is not made, I Kurt Riley who's a DJ don't have a job. So I need music to play. Production one thing says Riley, but no one buying the music. That's next week.